In this session, I'm going to do two examples that contain products. So our first example is f of t equals negative 3 times the square root of 7t cubed minus 1. We always want to rewrite a radical with rational exponents, so that's going to become negative 3 times 7t cubed minus 1 to the 1 half power. So whenever you first look at a problem, you want to scan the problem to see if there's a product. And this one does have a product between the negative 3 and the parentheses. Once you see a product, then you have to ask yourself, do both factors contain a variable? If so, you need the product rule. So if we look at both of these factors, negative 3 and 7t cubed minus 1, only the second one has a variable. The negative 3 has no variable. And if there's not a variable in both factors, then you do not need the product rule. So we're just going to go straight into the derivative. And we're going to bring the half in front, multiply by the negative 3, that's negative 3 halves, times 7t cubed minus 1 to the 1 half minus 1 takes us to negative 1 half power, and then times the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of the 7t cubed is 21t squared, derivative of 1 is 0. So that is the derivative of the inside. Then you cannot distribute this negative 3 halves through these parentheses since they're raised to a power, but you can multiply the negative 3 halves by the 21, and so that's going to give us negative 3 times 21 is negative 63t squared over 2 times the quantity 7t cubed minus 1 to the negative 1 half. But we never leave a negative exponent in our answer, so that is going to move to the bottom with the 2. And so the only thing left on the top is negative 63t squared over 2 times 7t cubed minus 1 to the now positive 1 half since we moved it. And then you could also rewrite that 1 half power as a square root. And so that would probably be the pre preferred final answer there. For the next example, we see again that we have a product. It's negative 6t times the quantity 5t to the fourth minus 1 squared. Now, in this case, do you need the product rule? Well, we've got two factors. Negative 6t is our first factor, and 5t to the fourth minus 1 is the second factor. And both of those factors contain a variable, so yes, we need the product rule. So if you need the product rule, then you need to find out what 1 prime is, the derivative of the first factor. Derivative of negative 6t is negative 6. And you also need to figure out what 2 prime is. The derivative of the second factor is 2 times the quantity 5t to the fourth minus 1 to the first times the derivative of the inside, which is 20t to the third. Again, derivative of 5t to the fourth, bring the 4 in front, 4 times 5 is 20, t to the third, derivative of 1 is 0. And then we can write that as 2 times 20 is 40t cubed times 5t to the fourth minus 1. So that's the 2 prime. So now we have to plug this into the product rule. And remember, our product rule is first factor times the derivative of the second plus the second factor times the derivative of the first. So we're going to plug all of that information into our product rule, and we're going to have f prime, or sorry, g prime of t is the first factor, negative 6t, times the derivative of the second, 40t cubed times 5t to the fourth minus 1. And then we have plus the second factor times the derivative of the first, and the derivative of the first was negative 6. So if we rewrite that, we have negative 6 times 40 is negative 240t times t cubed is t to the fourth times 5t to the fourth minus 1, and then minus 6 times 5t to the fourth minus 1 quantity squared. 
So we have two terms, this term and this term. Both of those terms um, have some common factors, so we're going to pull out our greatest common factor, which is going to be negative 6 times 5t to the fourth minus 1 quantity to the first. That will leave us with negative 240 divided by negative 6 is positive 40 t to the fourth, but the 5t to the fourth minus 1 is completely gone. And then negative 6 divided by negative 6 is positive 1 times 5t to the fourth minus 1 to the first. Now we can distribute the 1 through and combine like terms. So that's going to be negative 6 times 5t to the fourth minus 1 times the quantity 40t to the fourth plus 5t to the fourth gives us 45t to the fourth and then plus 1 times negative 1 is minus 1. And that would be the final answer for that problem.